Hey guys, day three of Prog Power. As you guys can see, the line is massive. It's wrapping around the building. Uh, today is a sold out day, just like tomorrow for the uh, fourth day. And it's gonna be crazy. I mean, you got bands like Battle Beast, uh, Caligula's Horse, Green Carnation, just to name a few. And it's gonna be a crazy night. So we're just gonna take you in for the journey for day three. Day three of Prague Power, and we're here with some beautiful people, and I just want to get your thoughts on day two, and now thoughts on day three. Day two was awesome. The halo effect was incredible. I mean, I knew they would be good, but they really blew my mind. The riffs just washed over me like a baptism. It was a spiritual experience. Um, oh. First time seeing Vola or hearing of them, um, pretty good. I dug it. <laughs> I felt the same thing. Yeah, so it was a great, a great day tomorrow. I mean, great day yesterday, and today is going to be great, and tomorrow is going to be great too. Who are you excited to see today? I'm most excited to see Ad Infinitum because I've never seen them before. But um, also excited to see Camelot again. I just saw them on tour, um, and I'm curious to see the Cryptex. I've never seen them before either. So I'm here with an Odin organ fan. I mean, amazing t-shirt, amazing band. Uh, I just want to know, you know, how you found this band and what made you love these guys? I heard they were playing here, and, I, and during the Prog Power prep work that we do before we come to the festival, I heard the song Gunman. I thought it was incredible. So I then delved into the band's catalog, and when I saw them here, they blew the roof off the place, and I've been a fan ever since. That's great. I mean, that song is amazing. We've done it on the channel. Yeah, amazing song. Their latest song. record is incredible. They're, they're a really good band. They're really good. Even their back catalog is fantastic. Uh, who are you excited for today? I'm excited for today. Uh, obviously, Camelot, uh, Battle Beast. Uh, those are the big draws for me today. Uh, but we're definitely going to check out the other bands too. Always a good time here at Prog Power. Based on what I saw on stage, you definitely don't come across. I mean, if you didn't say you guys were from Germany, I would think you guys were from somewhere else. You, uh, I, I don't know where. I, 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 I don't know where exactly, but definitely somewhere else. Maybe Mars. Mars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get some that's antennas right. going. So you got it. That's, that's right. There you go. You have right. it. I, Fuck. I can now. feel him oh, no. a bit. That the green will that show. Was, that was a mystery uh, yeah. behind us. The, the, now it's gone, right? Yeah. Here. The Cryptex are the from Mars. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. We, we all told you we flew the plane here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Well, day three brings us many things. Great bands and a vendor section over here. We got amazing vendors here for anyone to look at and uh, pick up an item or two. And uh, it's great in here, it has an amazing vibe, bar. I mean, it's great. I belong on Mars. Our generation is condemned by leeches. We see them following religious preachers. So let it out, so let me know. I'm here with Joseph Michael of Witherfall uh, at Prog Power Day 3. They have a merch table set up with all sorts of goodies. And if you're not here, obviously, you're not going to be able to pick them up here, but you can pick them up at their website. So check out their socials on Facebook, Instagram, and pick up one of those beautiful hoodies, T-shirts, patches, whatever it is. Everything is phenomenally made. I love it. I wear it all the time, I must say. So you should be doing the same. How's the day going so far? It's doing. I'm, I'm doing great, and you should be doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just 
trying to help you out because the the, the, the the stuff that you guys have is phenomenal. I wear I wear the stuff you send me all the time, and the good thing about it is I can wear it to work because even though it's metal, it doesn't look super offensive, so I can get away with it. Ah, well, I mean that's what we aim to be is super offensive without really you know giving it away. <laughs> Tastefully <laughs> offensive. Tastefully offensive. Tastefully offensive. By the way, I noticed you really loved uh, the other side of fear video with the the dancing titties and all that oh. shit. You know, I love me some titties. The, the new video went a little overboard, so it, <laughs> we might eventually release the fucking the uncensored version, but I think we have to pare it down a little bit. Maybe it's the time for you guys to start a Pornhub account and upload the whole thing there. Didn't a band do that? What was that band? Turmion Katilot did that. Yeah, yeah. They're I, from Finland. Okay, maybe we should do that. Don, get on that, man. I, I think Porn it's a, account. I, 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 th I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. So you guys are here. You're here for the next two days uh, with the merch, uh, hanging out, checking out some bands, trying to get the word out there. But I think the word that everybody wants to hear from your camp is: When can fans expect some new material from Witherfall? Shit. Uh, next month. Next month we're gonna drop the first single from the new album, and I'm not gonna tell you the title. But uh, the, the song is called Insidious. You can go right now and pre-order the record and get yourself one of those uh, little medallions. Uh, did I send you one, didn't I? No, I don't think I've ever gotten I a medallion. Need you you need to hook me up with oh one. I think God. that's the piece of merch that I'm missing. They're numbered. And so when you die, like, there's a book with your name in it and a number, and then, you know, we do a little ceremony for you. Holy shit, that sounds super cool. Yeah, totally. Uh, the dark, but cool. It's, yeah, well, they're a little dark. <laughs> We're I'm here with Yona from Battle Beast. They are at Prague Power Day 3. How excited are you to play this incredible festival? I'm actually really excited. I've been a fan for many years because um, Prague Power is a thing also in Finland. Like, people know the name of the festival, but no one actually knows anything about it. So today, for instance, when we arrived, we thought, some of us thought, that this is an open-air festival. No one knows anything, but there's all cool bands, you know, cool flyers and stuff. And it's been around for so long. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Uh, playing the festival, third day, sold out crowd. What is your expectation from, from fans attending, coming to see you guys in Atlanta? Uh, of course, I'm very excited. I, I don't know, like, we... we are always excited. It really doesn't matter if it's sold out or not. But now, when it's sold out, of course, it makes this like, okay, now we need to be on top of our game and stuff. And since there's lots of great other bands here too, so we need to show everybody that we're, we're the thing, you know. But, you know, it's not really like that, but of course I'm very excited. <laughs> you know, every day so far has had a Finnish band. Yeah. Today's you get, today you guys are carrying the Finnish flag representing. Uh, there's a, a massive amount of fans from the band here. I can tell by the t-shirts outside, people lining up. People are really excited to see you guys. Has that been the, the, the whole vibe during this North American tour that you guys have been on with Camelot? Are, are you seeing the excitement? Are you seeing it from fans at the merch table? Like, where, where are you picking up the biggest vibes? Yes, well... This is by far the most successful North American tour for us, like by miles. Like merch sales, shirts are off the roof. Like really, we have to restock every third show or something. Wow. So this is like completely nuts compared to the last <laughs> North American tour. So yeah, there's, there's this vibe that we're gonna come back here and make our own tour.
so far, the night has been great. We've seen some amazing acts, uh, and one that we've seen today at Infinitum. Haven't played in North America at all until tonight, and a great show. I mean, an amazing performance, uh, vocal-wise tight. Everything was just amazing, and the crowd was way behind. I mean, these guys, they got the crowd going. They got, they got the people going. Um, it was provocative as hell. Uh, and honestly, I was behind it the entire time. A fucking great show. Um, and there's not much to say. I mean, I'm hoping to see more of these guys in North America now. After seeing the reaction to their, um, to their set, I hope they are thinking backstage that they need to come back more often. Um, I think it's better for everyone. How are you doing? Good, you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you liking the festival so far? Very much so. Who's your uh, favorite so far of the day, or are you looking forward? Uh, at Infinium, hands down, the best in the show, I would call it now. Other than maybe Camelot, but we'll see. We will see. It's going to be an amazing night. I think Camelot's going to do really good. And I do agree with you there. Advent Infinitum was top-notch. Yeah, there were, like, there were other reasons, but they were the one that made me just say, fuck it, I'm buying tickets. And that's why you guys should have bought tickets, too. Green Carnation is in the house. Day three of Prog Power. You guys definitely brought the energy, the music, the emotion, the atmosphere. How was it for you on stage? Ah, it was it was quite amazing actually. Um, we've been to the US a couple times before. We did a long US tour in 2006, where we were the headliners and we were not really a well-known band in the US then. So we played for a for a small crowd every day, which was also nice. Then we were here at the Prog Power in 2016, doing our comeback, which kind of really gave us like so much energy and everything. And we were like doing a totally different set today. And we were like a little bit like uh, eager to see how the public was going to react on that. But it was amazing. So, so we were very happy. Day three of Prog Power, and look, we have a fan here of a band that's coming out with a brand new record on Atomic Fire. But we're not here to talk about Theocracy, even though probably you have a lot to say about them. I want to get your thoughts on day three. How, how has it been for you? It's, it's been phenomenal. The atmosphere has been great. Uh, met a lot of band members, and they're just all around talking with everybody. It's just a great atmosphere. What, what was the band that you were looking for the most when it came to day three? Ad Infinitum. Did they delivered? They did. They, they were phenomenal. Um, I never thought in my life I would see them. So being able to travel here to Atlanta, Proc Power to see them, it was awesome. It was awesome. They were one of the highlights of the day without a shadow of a doubt. One of the bands that I was looking forward to see. Do you think that the performance tonight, considering how, how well received it was, the place was absolutely packed for them. Do you think that's going to motivate them to come back to North America maybe and be part, maybe not a headlining tour because they're a fairly new band, but right. part of a bigger tour package? Yeah, I, I hope so. I really do. Because um, I thought Battle Beast before them was phenomenal too. and That would be a good package to see tour the States.
Yeah, baby. It's the end of night three. Night four is tomorrow, and we'll be hitting you up with some of that stuff. How did you think about night three? Oh, it was amazing. Camelot are obviously as great as usual. Um, my One of the bands I really liked today was Cryptex. So very underrated, you know. Um, who else was there? There was... Um, oh, Ad Infinitum. My favorite band of the whole day. They were amazing. So... Yeah, day three was overall was just freaking incredible. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, Ad Infinitum was great. But Cryptex, I also agree with you on that oh, one. Yeah. You were hyping them up before the show. We already knew because we've done them on the channel before. And John C. Riley did not miss. I mean, that guy on stage, fucking great. He's, he's like a young John Oliva from Sabotage. He's yeah. he, he has so much energy and honestly, like, it was an amazing way to start off the the night. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like, I'm really hoping that they made more fans because I remember last year when they announced them, a lot of the people here didn't know who they were, but I did, and I was like, oh, people are gonna love them. So yeah, the crowd reaction was great. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I definitely heard that. But all the bands today were great. I mean, there was no duds. Everyone top tier, top tier today. Oh, yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, and we'll bring you guys day four tomorrow, so stay tuned.